from coast to coast, sea to sea. We the front runners that's speaking with no pride. Just open up your eyes, you can see we worldwide. We teaching God's laws with the faith in Jesus Christ. That's the secret sauce you can purchase with a price. Bishops on deck, double honors, that's respect. Spirit get vexed, we gon' have court press. Yeah, you know we tighten up.
hundred souls for the king to be our offense. We a godsend, so move with caution. Christianity and make me nauseous. We show up to kill that night. For the king to be our offense We a godsend, so move with cash <laughs> Don't give a damn if you don't like me And move by emotions and tears is unlikely When red words speak, more checks ran than Nikes You hear what for bad, we here to set the gods free Sons of God apply pressure Bring forth the cause, contend, lift up the banner We at your front door, we here to seek the answers And if you want to war me, a scat boy never Hey, they already know the mission, what we came for Feed the shit with understanding, we ain't paid for Christian and defender retire You said you know the Lord, you a goddamn liar T.D. Jakes, Albert Tate, Mr. Raven, Charlie Dates Tony Evans, J.T. Meeks, Dr. Durant, Great Crap flowing, now you coons plotting Better watch what you say, think twice, boy, you better move it. Christianity and make me nauseous. We show up to kill that nonsense. When it souls for the king to be our offense, we a godsend, so move it. Christianity and make me nauseous. We show up to kill that nonsense. When it souls for the king to be our offense, we a godsend, so move it. should be getting into your rest all right whatever happened this week to hell with let it go let it go it's the sabbath baby you know what i'm saying don't be coming to the sabbath with a damn attitude we're gonna send your ass home all right? <laughs> that's how i need to be when somebody coming with a damn attitude they need to go home they already out the spirit yeah. hell no but what's good everybody you tune in to fix your face man hey, listen we we got another Another banger, man. No diddy. Fix your face, please. We ain't going. Fix your face, please. We ain't going. No diggin'. No, no. No diddy. Hey, take that, take that. It has a whole new meaning now. Some it didn't whole new that meaning, bro. No, I didn't know what he meant really back up. He was just dancing. Now I ain't know what he's talking about. You know? I from what I heard on the audio, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't him, know. him and him and whoever it was, it's bad. And it, it, it ain't it ain't good. Yeah. No dick. No doubt. <laughs> All right, man. We go hey listen, we're gonna introduce the cast, man, uh to my right. You're I'm the far the right. Oh, yes, there you go. Hold on. That's the far right. I, I gotta say far right. Brothers, is, brothers, is not listen. In y'all gotta be hype in the spirit, man. Y'all gotta be ready to roll. Y'all should be over. Y'all, y'all should be ready to say y'all name. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Let's go, Jeremy. Officer Jeremiah in this building. Man, Happy say it, this say it again. Happy Jeremiah. Come on, man. Say it with your chest. We in this building. There we go. Oh, oh, Officer IBI. Cassie IBI. Original. Original? Original. Original? Why are you Original. No, not original. One of, one of the originals. I'll say it like that. You know what I'm saying? This is fixing your face in conjunction with K 
Cast it out of imagination. Most high Christ bless y'all. Most high Christ bless y'all. All right, to my left. Shalom. Most high Christ bless Israel. It's going to be a, a fantastic uh, show today. I hope you have your children prepared not to be in this uh, attendance. It's going to get crazy. Not like a Diddy party, though. No doubt. <laughs> Shalom. Have, have you, you ever been? <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> Hey, listen. We're already started. Diddy, hey, listen, bro? brothers. Listen. Well, you hey, man. Diddy? Hey, you did it. Oklahoma. You did it, bro. But it, but it meant, so, it meant <laughs> that we ain't going there. You know what I'm saying? But and he, still. And he put swallowed up. <laughs> hey. We don't want no parts of T.D. We don't. Jakes. We don't. And Diddy. He was at the party. Wasn't that's why he was. That's he why he was said that he was thinking. At, he was thinking about he the party. The the party. party. You it's know already what? there. You know what? It's, it's already there. Y'all right. <laughs> we didn't fix your face. Because this guy, he's the only pastor. He's supposed to be what a, a, he's a bishop. Right? He's a bishop. He's supposed to be. supposed supposed it. Right. He's a fake bishop. So called. Right. And he's at Diddy parties. <laughs> and they say we'll go down at, So probably after 12 Ooh. Probably after 12 What did Denzel Washington tell Lecrae He said hey You been in a Diddy party He was like yeah He's like don't ever stay past 12 <laughs> Wait no <laughs> way <laughs> Cinderella out And remember Lecrae's supposed to be A Christian, a Christian rapper. rapper Yes And what did he do I forgot about that. He talked about what happened He stays and no I got this I'm strong I can take whatever. You are gay. He went up to the upper room. But but is he supposed to be there in the first place? No. Cap? No. no. Not if you expect for one, you ain't supposed to be out reveling in these parties anyway. That's right. sin in itself. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why you know TD Jakes is a fake pastor. Fake whatever it is. He's mm -hmm. fake. That's why he says sermons like that's why he's getting exposed. You notice he ain't he ain't really been in the limelight like he he kind of separated from Diddy for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But all of them that separated from Danny was a part of something. And that's what we're going to get into today. All right. Hey. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, Cap, I seen you post something uh, not too long ago on, the, on uh, Facebook. You said, your son asked you, hey, Dad, how many bishops are there? Mm -hmm. And you said, it's only three. I was like, damn, that's powerful right there. It is only three real bishops that's on the earth. And I and listen, I didn't think of I didn't no other people came to my mind. It was it was so easy to say it. My son was like, I mean, just out of nowhere, he asked me questions all the time, like biblical questions, what's happening, when when we gonna make it to the kingdom, when the destruction come. My son would be sporadic with great questions that grown folks should be asking. He said, Daddy, hey, uh, how many I mean, how many bishops is in the world? It's like three, son. Only three. Oh, That's it. Oh, praise. That's it. Hey, Go can ahead. I get a scripture real quick? Yeah. Hey, yeah. get First Corinthians six and nine, please, because you you went into uh, Lecrae. Lecrae's supposed to follow the Bible. That's why we tell you, Christians, y'all not the true y'all not the true followers of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Read that, because this is what the Bible said. We're at First Corinthians six and nine, the, the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You hear that, Christians? The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. This is what Paul told you. The one you love. The one you run to. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. A lot of Christians like to deceive themselves. No, I can go. What, what you say? I'm strong. I can, I can go to that party. I, I, I won't be affected. No. Mm. God said don't do it. Read. Neither fornicators, nor, nor fornicators, nor idolaters, mm -hmm. nor adulterers, mm -hmm. nor effeminate, mm. nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, <laughs> nor drunkards, no drunkards. That's what be happening at these parties. These drunkards, read. Nor revelers, no what? Nor revelers, no what? Nor revelers, no revelings. That's what's happening at these. They revelings. And he said, no reverence is going to enjoy the kingdom of heaven. Read. No extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's it. Can I get a follow-up to that? Yeah. Hold, hold, hold on. Read that again. Before, I'm sorry. No, uh, no, no. no. no Read that again. Because a lot of this stuff is going on at these diddy parties. Straight up. What, what, you, what you just said. Read verse, uh, verse 9 again. 
Verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Come on. Be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Neither fornicators. Everybody there is fornicating. It's naked women there. It's sex going on in there. All these things. All these people are in fornication. Diddy has a 40-foot bed in his backyard. <laughs> what? <the> what? What? <laughs> bed hey, in, the Google, back, in, Google the, it. in the backyard? Google it. Oh Don't shit. Google it. I've been Diddy's Diddy, bed in Diddy. the backyard. He has a 40-foot bed in his backyard. What the? No, bro. Bruh. That's not true. Oh, I do not believe it. I think it's true. I mean, I said it was true, man. It's true. I, 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 just pictures Let's finish the scripture. Go ahead. Neither fornicators uh -huh. nor idolaters. It is some idolaters. They are idolaters. They are Idolater. idolizing. Mm -hmm. I, was, I messed it up okay. then. They idolizing mm -hmm. sex. Oh, man, you wasn't lying. Hold Second on. picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to wait. Uh, they idolizing sex, each other, the, the music industry, all everybody... All these women that's there mm -hmm. want something, mm -hmm. money. So they want to get in position. All the men there want something, money. They want to get in position. All that stuff is idolatry. Next. No adulterers. What? It's married men there. It's married women there. In the midst of adultery in those parties. And it ain't just Diddy parties. It's all these parties in the industry. Right, come on. Nor effeminate. It's a lot of gay men and women in these parties. God said you won't inherit the kingdom of heaven. Period. When you're doing things like this. Come on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. It's the same thing. A, a, a gay. You, you <laughs> busted up somebody's back. You are gay. You are gay. You are gay. <laughs> you are gay. That, that stuff, you're not supposed to do that. Come on. Nor thieves, uh -huh. nor covetous. No, you said no thieves. I know it's a nigga in there stealing something. Gotta be. <laughs> yeah, they stealing. It's a Pookie and Ray Ray in there are stealing all Cause, types cause of they, stuff. They too busy doing stuff. Because <laughs> yeah. he's like, shit, why they doing that? I'm going to take this. I'm you're taking right. that. Give me this. Give me that. One of these okay. famous people brought their cousin and ain't never been nowhere. <laughs> That nigga in the back stealing. <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't everybody right drunk. He like, shoot, nigga, I came up. All this is there. Come on. Nor thieves, uh -huh. nor covetous, uh -huh. nor drunkards. Mm -hmm. nor These people that's drunk there, they're reveling. Come on. Nor extortioners uh -huh. shall inherit the kingdom of God. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. They're not going to make it. The extortioners are the, the uh, record execs. Ex exactly. The Clive Davises and right. all of those people. They're, they're in on there. there. Right. They're, the hazing the process. <laughs> it's the hazing process. I and mean, we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> hey, let's see this band. Let's, let's, people thought the I was lying. I, I don't be, know. Let's see it. Whoa. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't yeah. stop, won't Can't stop. stop, won't stop, never stop. Can't stop, won't stop, never. That's Can't stop, won't end. stop, bad boy. Always upgrading from my last one. I don't want to reach a kitchen and enjoy it. And I ain't tripping if you can enjoy it. I was locked 23 and 1. Now I bought like 23 and 1. Right, I would have never laid in that bed. Never. Oh, God. Bruh. Ever. That, that, that's that's kind of weird. Can, That's Lecrae right there. Go That's ahead, Le go ahead, Noah. Okay. Can I get my scripture, please? I want to follow up to what y'all just pulled in, in Corinthians. With okay. Pro uh, Proverbs 22 and verse 24. Understand that this is the definition of these men. Man, listen, I'm I'm afraid for y'all to see this class. I'm I'm tense right now because I'm man. Listen, this place is crazy. Read that. The Book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 24. Uh huh. Make no friendship with an angry man. Understand, all those people are the angry men that was listed. Read. And with a furious man thou shalt not go. Those people are furious people. Read. Lest thou learn his ways. Unless you learn their ways. That part right there is heavy. Read. And get a snare to thy soul. What's happening to Diddy? Whose ways did he learn? Where did he get this behavior from? And so on, the Bill Cosby's, the R. Kelly's, all these people that are getting caught up now in these scandals. Because you didn't hear, you heard about Epstein, but not to this extent. Not like black people get it. Read. We taking it above and beyond. Read. Ver verse 26. That was Be it, my bad. 
My yeah. bad. Go ahead, Cap. Hey, let's go to that definition. What's the name of the class again? You know, I, I got a bad memory. It said the Diddy effect, yeah. right? The yeah. secrets to, what was it? The secrets to... The Diddy effect. The evil, evil, evil there you go. The evil secrets of fornication. Mm -hmm. My bad. Y'all got to help me out. Y'all know I, my brain let me work that good. All right, let's read this. The Diddy effect. Effect. Not effect. The effect, right? Let's read some of these synonyms. Synonyms of effect. Uh -huh. Result. Uh -huh. Repercussion. Read it again. Repercussion. The repercussions. Mm -hmm. The repercussions. Come on. Consequence. The consequences that go on by dealing with Diddy. Dealing with him and all, all his friends is dealing with some consequences right now. These are the results. <laughs> Come on. Where they at? That's what I'm saying. They ain't dealing they, with shit. They, yeah, they ain't they friends. Out of there. No, they ass, they ass is with them. <laughs> that was that. They with them. Come on. Outcome. The outcome of what's going on. Come on. Aftermath. The aftermath. Come on. Impact. Ooh, the impact that it has right now in the mm -hmm. world. Ain't that uh, all of these things is happening Dr. for Dre's me? Diddy. Record label. Aftermath. <laughs> the aftermath. <laughs> After Damn. death, bro, huh? <laughs> so that's why I named it the Diddy effect because these are the consequences behind dealing with Diddy. Mm -hmm. What did Cat Williams say about this Negro? Mm -hmm. Play the video. He to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you got to tell him no. <laughs> you got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm I, I so need, free. Can, can, can I need, can I need no one. You here, get your number too, Thank you, sir. Thank hey, go back to that listen, definition. Listen, listen, hold on, bro. No, go no, back. Yeah. For, Cat Rims be having receipts, bro. They said a man, he ain't that fast. Man showed me. He he's fast, up, bro. You are man showed up. Oh, six. Hey. <laughs> hey. The man showed up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the brother did say, <laughs> 2024, <laughs> all lies will be revealed. He did say that. <laughs> and these Negroes are getting exposed <laughs> left <Exposed>. and right. <laughs> The year of the exposure. The, bro, <laughs> listen, bro. It's a lot. Listen, we went over last week. We went over last week the what? How the so-called, all this collectively goes back to Esau. Mm -hmm. Amalek. Yes, yes. All of this full circle goes back to Esau again. Yes, sir. Being exposed. Right? So it all circles. It all come together. Mm -hmm. And these are the, this is the outcome. The aftermath and the consequences behind dealing with that. Cat Williams said, "Tell you gotta tell Diddy no." These <laughs> niggas said, "No, I want to party with Diddy." And now you know do, 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 do. you you bunny hopping mm -hmm. in front of Jewish white men, mm -hmm. right? You getting flued out to places. You painting your fingers. You weren't, you, you hugged up with other, you supposed to be a gangster rapper, right, right. and you hugged up with these white men in pink. Mm. Half naked white men. At the white party. At the white. Come on, bro. You are gay. Come on, bro. Get to the next one. Next video. What to the next one? You got to tell them no. I know y'all like, okay, hold on. How can this Negro talk? Uncle, some of y'all might be old enough to know who Uncle Luke was. And what he's doing. <laughs> and what he did. It wasn't good. But what I can say, but he did a lot of stuff out in the open or whatever the case may be. You know what he did. He got out the game. But some people you can't turn, you know, into that next level. Diddy is one of those people. Tupac back in the day uh, mentioned him. Uh, how he was. Everybody been exposing P. Diddy for years. Since the 90s, bro. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Now, this is everything we're saying that we're seeing and we're showing is alleged. He hasn't been convicted yeah, of, alleged, any, of mm -hmm. any felonies or anything like that yet. But the information is very strong. It's very strong. <laughs> he be 
<laughs> what you looking like? Cause he be, he be saying some suspect stuff. He be doing some stuff. And, and we go, we gonna show it, bro. And when he around these gangster Negroes, they shut <laughs> up. They ain't saying nothing. They ain't saying a dang thing, bro. That's the problem. This dude got power. He has power over these cats, bro. And they, they love money. They idolize money and success so much that they are coincide with. They concede to, to Diddy, bro. He been doing it for years. I bet you had a good point. Since since Puff, I mean, since Biggie died, maybe a little bit after that, Mace and all of that, Shine. After that, the Negro ain't had nothing musically going on since then. He hasn't had a hit since I'll, I'll give him 1999. He ain't hit it, had a hit since 99. And who was who? that? Who? Buffy. He had well, a hit. Well, he ain't had nothing. He ain't had no damn hit. <laughs> we see these videos, but they weren't Billboard. But I'm saying number this, one. The brother is a multi. He's a billionaire now. How? How did he become a billionaire in these years? You can't tell me it's Sean John. Nobody, nobody's winning. Yeah. You can't tell me it's 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 Sarah. I mean, what's the what's the uh, no Sarah? Uh, he's, Sarah? They say he get it from his other artists and stuff like that. Nah. What artists? Yeah, what artists? He he has a conglomerate of artists that he's put out over the man, years, man. and that's where he gets his hits from. But a billion dollars? It's, it's networking, and when I say net, I mean networking. What that mean? Meaning Whatever. he putting niggas in nets, oh. <laughs> trapping people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, play this. When you go and you get these billions and you see them put you up on a pedestal, that's, that's because they put you up on a pedestal. They made networking. you the guy. They placed you on every network. They sold you to networking. all y'all <laughs> on here. They gave you five million followers. They put all this, they dress you up like a fucking hoe on the street. They gave you the Bugattis. They gave you the mansions on two different coasts. They put you up on a pedestal because they need you. It's like some pimp shit. When you got when you when you got your main girl, you dress her up and she look like this and look like that and do this and you march her into the, to the big room. I'm telling you. So when they put you on that motherfucking pedestal, and then you start thinking it's about you, and you want to take over their shit. Them people look back like this. Hold on, who the fuck you think he is? Oh, we'll show you better than we can tell you. Then they'll try to reason with you, and they'll talk to your manager, because your manager look like them. Mm. And they'll be like, hey, man, tell, tell your man to chill out. You know, and then the manager come in, and he trying to keep his job. Hey, hey, guy, be, uh, calm down. And then you go walk around like it's all about you. You got all the, the cars and the mansions and the jets and all the yachts and all this and all the people running around. You talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you want to fight. Now you want to bite the hand that feeds you. Mm -hmm. Don't your mama ever always tell you that? Your mama say, never bite the hand that feeds you. And so this is how the major corporations work. All right, pause. Now, you heard what he said, right? He broke down how they set certain men up in, I guess, in leadership in the music industry, right? They give you all these millions. They give you fame, success, money, uh, notoriety, uh, followers, stuff like this, right? To keep them in the limelight. But when you bite the hand, something, we don't know what went on. We don't know what, if, if, what did he have done to piss these people off. But we know that who runs the industries. Not that one. I need the other one yet. Yeah, we'll get that next. Uh, now, who was he talking about? He said the manager or the people above, right, who deals with him. Somebody pull up Clive's da Clive Davis. This is Diddy's mentor. Diddy's mentor right here. You got it? Now, let, what, what nationality is this guy? Go ahead and read that. Davis was born in Brooklyn, New York, to a Jewish family. Uh-huh. The son of Herman and Florence Davis. After spending four of his earliest years in England, Davis was raised in the middle-class neighborhood of Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Stop. Brooklyn, that. 
have y'all noticed that all these black men that's getting put into these sexual schemes and all this, there's a white Jewish man behind it. Every single time it's a white Jewish man behind it. And guess who takes the fall? Black men. They take the fall. These white men ain't, get, ain't taking no fall. <laughs> they ain't well, they not taking a fall. They going in the tunnels. They the Mario. They the, they the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> now, now check out. So we all know that Diddy House just got raided, right? And I'm going somewhere with this because we're not just getting on Diddy because, you know, yeah, we are because he he doing what he's doing, and this is the this is the recompense, the results that behind him being evil for this long, the Most High God is judging him. But overall, Esau is behind all of this. Esau gave him power. Esau gave him the money and the fame. Right? He gave him all of that. So what happened? Some allegations happened with his with his what was that? What's the name of? Uh, Cassie, right? Cassie. Uh, she said he was abusing her. He was calling men to have sex with her. All these things, right? And had a what else was she, that he had her doing? He had her doing something, huh? Yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. Dang. What else? A lot, bro. Abuse. Yeah, it's just I abuse. Guess, I guess he, abuse. Sexual assault. Just, 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 I just, guess abuse. Because right? I mean, he wasn't doing it, other people was doing it to him, right? Mm. So he did all these stuff, all this stuff, and he did a lot of hazing. He got a lot of people in the uh, music industry, and he wanted power. He wanted power. I, I forgot the video that I had a Jaguar Wright explaining uh, that her uh, one of his assistants, mm -hmm. one of his assistants, yep. found him. In the in the dang room, giving I mean getting fellatio from another artist, a man artist, and then he told her I think I might have mentioned this last last week, and he told her that's what you call power. So Diddy is on this power trip, that you know what I'm saying that Esau gave him. Let's read what Candace always said because remember he just got his house raided right. He tried to fly out, try to get away. And the, this is the uh, what Candace Owens said, and this is kind of heavy, because I believe this. Let's read that. Candace Owens, the feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They already knew what he was up to, but he is going to be the fall guy so that they could protect the people at the top of the ring. Mm. They are raiding his home to hide evidence. Not to find it? To hide evidence. To hide the evidence. Come on. Not to find it. Not to find actual Ooh evidence. Wee. How she know that? She, she slept with a white man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she rubs shoulders. The, he knows I'm the saying, ropes. He, she rubs shoulders with that. That's a hell of a statement. Read it again, bro. That's a hell of a Read statement. Read it again, bro. The feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They already knew what he was up to, uh -huh. but he is going to be the fall guy so that they could protect the people at the top of the ring. Because they know for years Diddy has been this way. He's been doing the same thing over and over again for over 20 something years. Period. Cap, you know, I, 30 years. You know why I said that, right? Because she don't she don't deal with that conspiracy stuff. She don't deal with, you know, uh, the in the window. She deal with facts. Right? She's seen that's Candy Owen. She always deal with the facts. So she's saying something coming from her that's pretty it's pretty solid. She probably know what she's talking about. Bro. She got some like inside. Right. You know? the inside school? Yeah. Bro, this is heavy, bro. It said they read They are raiding his home to hide evidence, not to find it. So they raided his house because they end up finding out, they end up bringing out that that Diddy has a lot of hidden cameras in his homes. A lot. They found them. The hidden, the hidden uh, cameras in his phone. So anybody that been to his house is exposed. Anybody. You take a pee there, they know everything about you, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, no, go back to that. Go back to that, that deal. So they went in there to find evidence mean to hide evidence from the higher ups that's involved in those things that's involved in that sex ring or uh get a cap on 
what's what's going on. Yeah. So they go in there and take all the stuff out your house. Protect the guilty. Take take whatever the higher ups is in. Dispose that and have everything that Diddy and other and everybody or his peers around him mm-hmm. have, and that's what they're gonna indict him for. Mm-hmm. Listen, Esau not going down, bro. They wrote the rules, bro. They wrote the policies. They wrote the, the laws and the statues of this right. of this fucking. I mean, excuse me. Y'all all right? Yeah. I'm sorry. What a beat, bro. I'm sorry. Y'all get forgive me. Because it makes me mad. They set the rules of this place, man. And it's our dang fault. Right. Because we broke God's commandments. So they, listen, they, they set the rules. They not falling. And every time we always take the hit. Diddy is taking the hit right now, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what happens, he's taking the fall. And he's gonna, he might go away for a long time. A long time. All right, go ahead. To the next one? Yeah, what was that video with Jaguar Wright? What was that? The one you was talking about? The Jaguar video? That you mentioned? Uh, oh, the one you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play that, please. She get a little vulgar, y'all. So I, I, don't, I haven't seen this, but go ahead. Yeah, she crazy. Ooh, child. Hey, but she, hold on, pause. A lot of people been saying it. I even said it too, that she crazy. But she be having receipts, bro. Now, they say that she disgruntled because her career didn't go off like it should have been. Because remember, she was doing okay they at always first. always do that to people, but she... They always... Bro, she's been having... She, ain't nobody said, no, nah, she lying. Ain't nobody said that. She got receipts, bro. Bro, you see the people, the artists they have out here today? No, I can't, I can't watch this right here, bro. I, 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 <laughs> Come on. Bro. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, please. Sorry, but, up in here? Go ahead, How press play. Sean Diddy combs Pandora box just something that here? keeps giving. Miss Jaguar Wright just came with some piping hot tea about Diddy that we have never heard before. She just confirmed that Diddy was Clive Davis's boy toy and that Clive used Diddy to fulfill his own fantasies mm. in return for fame and power. Apparently, they had something of a sugar daddy, sugar baby situation, and Jaguar is now claiming that Clive has been helping Diddy escape justice for years for hurting people. I swear Jaguar has had her foot on Diddy's neck for a very long time, and it doesn't look like she is letting go anytime soon. Now pause. Soon. All right, let's go to the next video. But listen, she's been talking about Diddy. This what what, what everybody's saying today. Mm-hmm. She's been talking about Diddy for years, and everybody said, "Man, ah, shut up. You ain't nobody. You trying? You mad because your career didn't drop? Your your career didn't pop, or whatever the case may be. That's what they do to people that come out and say something to other people, right? She." been saying this for years now that it's coming out now everybody want to go back to jaguar rice videos and go watch them because she was telling the truth mm-hmm. all the evidence was there but let's see what uh now listen we we say this dude crazy we played him last week but the dude be having a dang point he be having a point let's watch this orlando brown <laughs> is your devalue your 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 devaluing the illuminati and it angers me because I created it. Bruh. And it's crazy. It's you crazy, created bro. the Illuminati. If I'm Jesus, I would think I did. Okay. What? Yeah, I don't get that one. <laughs> yeah. Just missed that part. Well, tell us about it a little bit then. Well, <clears throat> not my place too. You guys know exactly. I mean, well, I'll give you this. It's like Diddy. You know Diddy? Diddy. My, yeah. One of my best friends. Okay. Right? Okay. So when you want to be a Kappa and you get hazed, didn't you want to be a Kappa? You wanted to be a Kappa, right? I want to be a Kappa. No, I'm just saying. To the person that wanted to be a Kappa. Oh, okay, okay. You want to be a Kappa. You want to be Alpha, whatever the fuck it is, okay? We're going to haze you and haze you and haze you until you are a Kappa. That's what happened. People sold their souls to Diddy. <laughs> and then they're mad now the because the hazing man. process was a little bit rougher than they thought. You can't, the king. Why do you think I love Diddy so much? Right, so You're not gonna. Oh man, yeah. You now listen, he, he he be saying some stuff for a split second. They be right. The rest of the stuff he be saying be crazy, right? He can't be all the way right. We have. But no listen, I got a scripture though. Give me Mark eight six eight eight and thirty six. Yeah, you got you got you. Give me Mark 8 and 36, please. Exactly what he just said. 
because Puffy did it. All these other artists is doing it too. They are selling their soul. That's what they're doing. They are selling their soul. Come on. The book of Mark, chapter 8 and verse 36. Mm -hmm. For what shall it profit a man? Start at verse uh, 35. Verse 35. Mm -hmm. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Mm -hmm. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. Come on. For what shall it profit a man uh -huh. if he shall gain the whole world? What shall profit a man that he gains the whole world? You gain all this success, fame, money. You gain all this popularity, notoriety. You gain all this stuff. Come on. And lose his own soul. And you lose your damn soul behind it. What does it profit you in the end? Look at, let's listen. Look at what, what he did. Puff went through all this success since the early 90s, bro. He's been rich for 30 plus years, bro. He's been drawing parties for a long time. For a long time, 30 plus years, he gave years. his soul up. 30 years of parties. <laughs> and it's been, um, it's been hundreds of artists, <laughs> hundreds of artists that have been trying to get that same success, Notoriety, fame, money, and all of that, and they're selling their souls to Diddy, like Orlando Brown was just saying. Mm -hmm. They're losing their soul behind it. That's what's happening, bro. Come on. Verse 37. Uh -huh. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Come on. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed so of these, me. They giving fame, money, all this stuff up mm -hmm. for their soul, bro. They so far away from the commandments. Look at Meek Mills, bro. I never thought I'd see Meek Mills <laughs> hopping on a damn tennis court like a freaking fool. He needs he's some from, milk. He's from, he's from the hood of Philly, the gutter of Philly. And get the gutter, bro. Yeah. And he up there hopping. The white man saying, "Hop." Uh, what do you say? Hop, Meek. Hop, Meek. You got six hundred and fifty to go. And he was doing it. That was a hazing process. Mm. That's what that was. Like he was just talking about that. The hazing process. He was will he's willing to take himself to the next level. Mind he getting into uh what's it called? Uh prison reform. Stop trying to clear his, his uh image. his Conscious. image up, his and all of that stuff so he could be marketable for yeah. white people. Yeah. yeah. So they can start dealing with him. So yeah. he try to change his life. Negro, it comes with a price. He's right. gonna be the next nah. Diddy. Nah, it's too late mm, for that. Too late. Ain't nobody mm. diddy. It's too Ain't late. <laughs> they, gonna, they gotta replace him. Ain't too many no, pie they, gotta, they gotta replace the Taskmasters, bro. Too late. No, he's he's the next. He's uh, done. Orlando Brown. No, oh. he's done. Next Orlando <laughs> Brown. He's done. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Hey, Cap, can I get something? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get First Timothy's chapter six. Start yeah, at verse finish. eight. First oh. Timothy's chapter My six, in verse eight, because everybody want to be that next millionaire, that next billionaire, and we're seeing what's going on in the world. What's at stake? You know what I'm saying? You're hearing all the stories. You've been hearing stories since, what, 90s, 80s about these producers and everybody abusing the artists, right? But read that. Give me verse 8. Start at verse 8. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 8. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. So you can provide for yourself. You got food and clothing. You should be content therewith. Read. But they that will be rich. They that, be, that will be rich. Read. Fall into temptation and a snare. Mm. So those that want to be covetous, they, they, they can never have enough. They don't, they'll do whatever it takes to become rich. It says they shall fall into temptation and a snare. Read. And... Into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Many foolish and hurtful lusts. That's why they out here do, uh, 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 bending bunny men over, bunny hopping. You know what I'm saying? They raping women, men raping men. All these different hurtful lusts. It says because you want to be rich, you're going to fall into all of this temptation. It listen, Read on. Verse 10. Finish that to verse 10. Yes, sir. Which drown men in destruction and perdition. Destroying other people. Read. For the love of money. For the what? For the love of money. What are they after? The love of money. Is what? Is the root of all evil. That sunk to the pit of my soul when he read it. Read. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from they the what? faith. They erred from the faith. They don't know God no more. Read. 
and pierce themselves. Mess themselves over. You got a hardcore gangster who swear by himself he a killer mm. and got taken. Pierce themselves through with many sorrows. And you can't go back. That, that is going to be in the recesses of your mind that that happened. Even if it was one time. Even if it was one time, it's in the recesses of your mind that you did that for your fame, riches, and all of that, that glory that men gave you. Boy, listen. And if you forgot it, they filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to remind they you. They got it. They got it. They gonna... <laughs> oh, you want to get out? Oh, okay. You sure? They, they, they pull their phone up like that. You sure? They lay the phone. It's like a 100-inch TV. <laughs> hey, play that video uh, with uh, Pimp C. Pimp C. You got it. The Pimp C video first. We're going to come back to that one. You know, people, I won't even say a group. It's the only reason two men can really call themselves friends or partners or homies. Can't start with lies. They can't build on lies and you know what I'm saying when it's all over you know what I'm saying can't be no lies a part of it yeah, everything between me and him regardless of how we may deal with everybody else mm -hmm. I'm 100 with him mm -hmm. he 100 with me that's the only way we gonna make it and, and from and, the beginning it's always been we it ain't never been and watch this bun I'm gonna say this too you niggas out there think this shit is cool but it ain't cool <laughs> me and this man ain't never been butt naked in no room together with no holes Pulling no audit type. Press, press pause, press pause. What did he see? Think about why he bringing this up. He's not talking about that. Not, mm -hmm. That stuff is prevalent in that in that industry. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And as you rise, you start seeing things. It's like what um Cat Williams said when he got when he got his deal. He got invited to the party. He's like, oh, I want to be a part of the party. Then when he went in, he was like. Nigga, don't you know I can see you? Why are you dead? I can see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't you know I can see you right now? You doing this in front of me? You know, that's what he, he he's like, uh, I'm not doing this no more. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's saying. Like, he's calling it out. That's why they can never come from that underground thing. You know what I'm saying? They would never, they could never shake it because they would not shake the double hand, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You in that this. aspect. In that aspect. That's what I'm saying. So it's still the devil. But go ahead, press, press play. None of that whole ass shit you niggas out there be doing, thinking you doing some fly shit. Nigga, if you're in a room naked with some other niggas and some broad, them niggas looking at your ass. <laughs> and if that shit is that shit is gay, and you need to get on some other shit, me and this man got nothing but respect for each other. We ain't never pulling no train. We ain't no motherfucking freaks. We some family men and getting this paper. You know what I'm talking about? And I had to put that out there front because a lot of niggas doing a lot of food games and shit out here, man. He said a lot of niggas, niggas, he he said a lot of niggas doing out. some food games and shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, press play. Chilling with these boys, and they doing all this, old, and if you gay, that's cool, but be gay and come on out and, and be that. Don't be in front of us and act like a straight up G, and then you get over here and you letting these boys bust up your back. But, you know, <laughs> they gonna come to the light. And yeah, I'm gonna that's Big Mill right there. That's, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of these people playing gangster. They playing all oh this gangster God. rap. I'm a killer. I sell dope. But they at the Diddy parties. Why are you good? Uh, Late at night. Happily, too. They are getting hazed because they got the fame. Just imagine how, how now, now I'm starting to think, when what's they say industry plan? You're like, what is an industry plan? Like, really? It's a lot of these men, old men and women, that come out of nowhere and go in front of the line of everybody and they be millionaires out the gate. How? You are gay. No pun intended. They, 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 they pay paying they dudes. They do do. <laughs> no pun intended. And some of these dudes. Hey, Cal, can I get a scripture? Some of them. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, let me get Proverbs chapter four, start at verse fourteen, because you got to ask yourself, okay, these 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 men like Diddy, the producers and everything, and they they're grooming men and women, making them do these outlandish things as far as the hazing. You would think to yourself, why don't they ever get tired of doing it? Read what that says. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Read. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Read, verse, no. read verse 16. Watch this. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. Mm -hmm. They can't sleep. Diddy and them cannot sleep unless they do mischief. Mm -hmm. They can't sleep unless they go to a Diddy party. Mm -hmm. 
read. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. They have to cause these people to fall. <laughs> like, this is why so many new people, they put the lifestyle in front of them, hopes that they come to them rather than them having to search them out. So they can have an endless supply of people hey, to abuse. You know, what, you know, that's heavy what you're saying because they see the light in their eye when they come and like, yeah, I'm going to break him. I'm going to break her. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They come and see that. that, And then you see them five years, they just be a broken person. Hey, they can't is, sleep unless they do it, y'all. This, this is why Diddy mm-hmm. invite people to come stay at his house mm-hmm. when they 16, 15 years old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's when he do the breaking process is that he did it to Justin Bieber. He Usher. did that to Usher. He did it to a few other people. Hey, now you come, you thinking your parents, you, these crazy ass parents, mm-hmm. thinking like, oh, my son's on, gonna make it. Let me send him over here. I trust, I trust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is how my son is gonna make it. This is how we're gonna eat. Mm-hmm. Right? Then they get expo- they get sexually assaulted, they get molested, and all these things. And then they grow up as grown men, and they had to put a p- persona out there to be masculine. They, because they singing the girls. But they back in they, what, what, what uh, Bum B said? I mean, what, uh, they back beat. beat he up. said, you got the boy bust up your back. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. But what you read, you got, you got some more to that? Yeah, read, yeah, read, 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 read verse 17. Verse 17. Mm-hmm. For they eat the bread of the wick- of wickedness. So they, they, they're, they're continually indulging in evil. Read. And drink the wine of violence. There's always violence that yep. comes behind it. Like black you, eyes, bl- people dying. Black eyes, people dying. Mm-hmm. There's <laughs> always violence associated with these people. Mm-hmm. The, ang- the, the angry man. Yeah. yeah, that's the, yeah. That, that goes along with what you was you brought yeah. out. Hey, give me uh, Isaiah 57, 21. Yep. The, the angry man. Give me Isaiah 57, 21. What you saying? And listen, uh, you said something earlier. Somebody said, I think I seen it in the comments about, they say... Um, Suge Knight try to, you know, become that next guy, but they they didn't want to use the white man. So, that, you know, Tupac and all them, they try to go around Amalek. You know what I'm saying? They seen what Amalek was doing, and it was like, you know, I'm talking about Jewish man, the, the so-called white man, the real head of the white people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they were trying to go around them. They were trying to do their own label, their own dis- uh, distribution. Yes, they tried to do all that, and they couldn't do it. They, had to, they took out Pi, they, they put him, he put, they put, he's put himself in jail. But what I'm saying is that's what they was trying to do. They're trying to set up their own thing. And it's like, nah, you got to come to us. Mm-hmm. You, can't, you can't do this without us. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. You got, that, you got that prescription? Yeah, go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 57 and verse 21. Ooh, it's up for Diddy now. Go ahead. There is no peace, uh-huh. saith my God, to the wicked. Ain't mm. no peace to the wicked, bro. You've had time to to stop and repent from this. It's no peace no more. It's all gas, no brakes. For everybody that's been associated with Diddy, bro, everybody's going to get punished. They're talking about Jay-Z now. They bring out allegations of Jay-Z mm-hmm. dealing with Rihanna when she was 15 years old. Everybody, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Foxy Brown said it herself that, that, uh, Jay-Z was having sex with her at 15 and 16 years old. She Jay-Z. said out of her own mouth. Yep. Hey, hey Cap, De- listen, get Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because this go back to what you're saying about 30 years, and now they starting to get all these old people. I want you youngsters to, you know, our people follow these rappers. That's why a lot of these youngsters wearing these tight clothes, wearing these purses, uh, got tattoos in the face. When I was growing up, you didn't put no tattoos in your face, man. You didn't do that. You only did it because you start seeing these rappers doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, Lil Wayne and them was doing it and stuff like that. So you are following what they say. You are worshiping these people. You understand? You are trying to follow them. You are trying to be like them. Uh, the music is destructive. destructive. You know what else y'all saw? Mm-hmm. It's a brother or sister right now listening, waiting to see if it's gonna be they rapper next to get blasted like this. Yeah, it's gonna ha- listen. They don't. They, it, it, listen, it's gonna happen. No, Cause watch this. Else. This is what the scriptures say. It don't tell us, Cap. It don't tell us it's gonna happen tomorrow at three o'clock. No, it says it's gonna happen. Read that. Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work 
is not executed speedily. Now, a lot of people run past that. It's already judgment now. The judgment is already passed. It just didn't come yet. It's coming out. Once you do something, you break God's commandments. It's judgment for it. You're going to pay for it. And, you know, I don't care what you say. God, forgive me. You know my heart. That ain't going to work. Read that again. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because it don't happen in the next year, two years, three years, five years, 30 years. Read. Therefore, the heart of the son of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Oh, I got away with this. I ain't worried about that Bible. I've been doing this. I've been smoking cigarettes for this long. I've been doing this for that long. I've been playing for little Timmy this long. Ain't nothing happened to me. Yeah. I don't got no AIDS. I don't got this. I don't got that. You know, I, 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 I was looking at um, this girl on um, um, Facebook, I mean, on TikTok, or one of them platforms. She was saying, she was bragging about how, you know, she don't have a kids and this. And then the brother asked, he said, do you do any abortions? And, uh, abortions? and he, she was like, she got quiet. She didn't even want to answer it. He was like, you over here talking crap. You, you over here killing the, the babies. Yeah. You, you, you get what I'm saying? And our people got high minds, and they be in the midst of sin. Mm -hmm. Read that one more time. We'll, we'll go to the next video. Yes, sir. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Uh -huh. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do and evil. And that's why sin keep going on and on, because they feel like they ain't get punished yet. Read on. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times at his day. Like P. Diddy and them, they, they, them parties, them parties, everybody talk about them parties is evil as hell, bro. Snorting cocaine, doing all kind of drugs, uh, trainees, all that stuff. Read. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. And his days be prolonged. And, and they look like they're having a good time. They look like they're having fun. So our people like, damn, I want to be that. I want to be a part of that. Wow. Just because they look like they going on and on don't mean nothing. You see what's happening to these people? Look at R. Kelly. Look at P. Diddy. Look at all these men that they're doing. Read. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear, fear God. It's going to be well with them. We're going to be standing in the end. Go ahead. That's right. Those who keep the commandments. Faith in Christ. Read, read that again. Yes, sir. The way sinner do evil in hundred no, times. Read. Go up with birds. Yes, sir. Because sentence against an evil work mm -hmm. is not executed speedily. Come on. Therefore, the heart of the sons a, a, of... A lot of people do things because the judgment has not mm -hmm. been prevalent at that time. Because back in the day, you committed a sin that was that you couldn't repent from, mm -hmm. which is why Christ came back. Mm -hmm. You was put to death. Yep. On sight. You hit, hit rocks all upside your head, right? Yep. Come on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So we became uh, hardened to mm -hmm. sin, right? We became mm -hmm. hardened people. Oh, man, the most I ain't going to do nothing. I ain't got away with it this long. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. The way sinner do evil a hundred times. A sinner do evil a hundred times, right? Come on. And his days be prolonged. And his days prolonged. Come on. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God. Come on. Which fear before him. Come on. But it shall not be well with the wicked. But it ain't going to be well with the wicked, though. Mm -hmm. Come on. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow. Damn. So what's the difference between the sinner and the wicked, though? Mm -hmm. He said he did a, he, he, the, the wicked, the sinner fell a hundred times. But guess what? His days was prolonged, right? Because he and eventually he repents from what he did, mm -hmm. right? But a wicked nigga... Ain't going to repent. They going to keep thinking they can get away with it. Mm -hmm. God ain't judged me yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. And the most high going to destroy you, Negro. And this is what happened. Diddy has been getting away with it for 30 years. Mm -hmm. He thought he was untouchable. Mm -hmm. Just like R. Kelly. Probably go before destruction. R. Kelly thought he was set. He, he had him in his house. He thought everything was good. All it takes is one disgruntled person that's, that's going to speak up. Not disgruntled. One person is going to speak up and say, the hell with the consequences. I'm going to speak up and say something. That's when allegations start to come out. 
You know what I'm saying? And Esau allows that to happen depending on how you deal with them. I guess Diddy ain't playing for it no more, right? He biting the hand that feed him. So now all these allegations coming out. And what you said, Abby, I was heavy about how uh, mm -hmm. they can't wait. They, they can't go to sleep at night unless they've done some evil, Yeah. right? Watch this. Wait a minute. <laughs> she said R. Kelly believed he could fly. <laughs> R. Kelly was flying yeah, in people's rooms. Yeah, so I love it. Hold on, pause. Yeah, I love it. It would have been a fight in there. Oh, yeah. There's no way I can just be... Ain't no man calling me daddy that ain't my son. That's what I was thinking. Only my, <laughs> only my kid. It's not happening. Y'all got to realize, this, this, this not in no... They not at no just in a room. They on Lies. public stage. They're live. Millions of people are watching this. This is drink chaps, right? Mm -hmm. yep. This is drink. Uh, millions of people is watching this. And this is all his liquor right here in, in the it, middle. It, yeah, yeah. It's his TV network, Revolt. Revolt. Well, yeah. he, well, he sold it recently, but at this time, did he own Revolt? Right. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So think about this, y'all. Mm -hmm. These and, 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 so they know a bunch of gangsters are watching this. This dude must be woke with the with the. <laughs> With the with the no, he ain't woke. Uh, yeah, he rushed the fire. He supposed to be riding. Right. Right. That's, right. that's why you know that watch the fire and stuff ain't because he don't yeah, say nothing either. Right. You got you got uh Jada right. Kiss right here. You got um uh, fabulous. 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 All these capos would be gangster and woke yeah. people, right? Yeah. yeah. Best play. You watch the fire and y'all ain't turn it up. Y'all ain't, bro. Where you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah. Where you put my bag? Boy, ain't no way, boy. When you scrambling and scraping, turn it up. Look at that. Hold on, pause. Look at they face, bro. Look at the look at the. Look at the Rastafarian dude. Look, look at him. Bro, ah! at, listen. <laughs> at, pa press pause, bro. Everybody <laughs> in the screen, bro, is no, afraid. Bro. Scared to death. <laughs> they are afraid of this man, bro. They're afraid that the power he got over their finances, bro. Can I read that? In Sirach? Yeah, if you got it. 2810. Oh, my God. Bro, they, listen, that bro. Fear in they face. bro. <laughs> listen, P D got power, bro. He got power over these people, bro. Mm -hmm. he, you, he dangled that money around. I, I, I well, can't. they gave him that power too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They gave him that power. Yeah. He's that. He's that he cast master. That. He he's that candy man. He's he, the, the, the candy man, candy land. He's the no. He, yeah. He, What's his name? Yeah, I know you are talking about the uh, old dude. Who that nigga on that neck? Yeah, who that nigga on that neck? The candy <laughs> land, the dude. Samuel Jackson. Bro, right. uh, whatever he, Steve, yeah, yeah, Steve, 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 hey, Steve. Stevie. Remember, that's, that, that's remember him. that. Remember that. That movie when those uh, white men was explaining how they raise, they'll raise up a a person above them that they don't like. And ha like, say for instance, you have some black workers. Instead of putting a white person there. They'll put a black person over there and have them have him rule rough yeah, yeah. with them so they yeah. hate him. Yeah. And he grows closer to the master. Yeah. Or to the to the head guy, the yeah. manager, or whatever it is. They do that on purpose. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's happening with Diddy right there. Go ahead. Sirach 28 and 10. The book of Sirach, <laughs> chapter 28 and verse 10. This also describes Amalek too, because <laughs> they that's, said, that's they his said power. trick, trick baby. <laughs> Go ahead. As the matter of fire is, so it burneth. You can't, you can't talk about the boss and everything that he doing right to his face. You can't. Read. And as a man's strength is, so is his wrath. Uh-huh. And according to his riches. He richer than all of them. And his backing is richer than all of them combined. So they ain't finna say nothing. They gonna sink in their chair and be afraid like, I don't wanna. That's not how I live, but I can't say nothing. Read. And according to his riches, his anger riseth. And the stronger they are which contend, the more they will be inflamed. They will end your life while you're living, if that makes sense to you. Well, Diddy going through it right now. His life is getting ended. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, press play. <clears throat> no, 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 I got I no like that. Turn it up. I'll be practicing. I got yeah. no yeah, he called daddy. Yeah, Mr. Lee. Yeah, I he gonna look away like you weren't talking to him. I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag daddy, yeah, I like when you when you right scrambling and scraping. When you he scrambling and scraping for shit. Come on, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with that one. Make a that wish. One. He did not make eye contact. Pause. Fix your face. 
fix your f fix your f <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Exposed. Wait, wait, no way, boy. He said you gonna blow out my candle. Listen, boy, he said he blow, blow it. He said blow it. Bro. He did it. But look at he—he could not do it. You get what I'm saying? No, he I'm, could not do it. He's done it <laughs> off your, off a different this camera. Hero's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. on a different set. He's he's blown out. Yo, some yeah, all the yeah, he blow, yeah, he definitely blew some candles. But what I'm saying is, that, no, hey, this the, <laughs> hey, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. We all know this. <laughs> hey, find that video where he playing the Joker. Hey, hey, the point is, is that people are watching this and they know and they can't do nothing about it. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, they doing this. Why are you doing this in the open, man? That's why they doing that. That's why they looking like that. They're like, man, this man in the open with this. We can't say nothing. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 Yes, you know what I'm saying? I understand. You know, we we, we part of this, but come on, bro. You gonna do this in the open on us, bro? That's how they that's how they feeling right now. You know what I'm saying? They know this, did he? Did he ain't just on one, two, three action, he just acting like that. No, he that's how he is. And he they know reckless. that. They know that. Fabulous and them all know this about P. Diddy. That's why they can't really say nothing, because they fear him. Like you saying, Kev, they fear him. They scared. Can we play on? Because I, I I gotta see him as Press play. fabulous about partying. Press play, please. Go no, back, bro. Yeah, go I'm back. Go back a little bit. Let's do it one more time. Remember, Cat Williams <laughs> said, when Diddy ask you to party, you gotta tell him no. Let's see if Fabulous told him no. Press play. In the beginning, I said yeah, no. In the I love beginning. This drink, Turn up something, man. Every yeah, time, go down. Yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you oh, when you scrambling and scraping no, for no, no, shit. No, 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 no. I, I like that. Shit. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. He trying to play it off. Yeah. I got this. I'm trying to talk. Keep on like, talking. Man, you making me uncomfortable, bro. I got an audience. Mr. Lee, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping when you when you scrambling and scraping for shit. No, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a wish. You trying to ignore him. That nigga said, wake a wish. <laughs> he said, nigga, I wish you could lead this damn show. I mean, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday party. man. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? <laughs> I, I, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Eyes, eyes. <laughs> Bro, Bro, look, listen, that, that word party means something. Like Cat Williams said, <clears throat> when he tell you to party, you got to tell him no. You gotta that word him. party means, like Pip C said, he trying to bust up your back. <laughs> what are you getting? <laughs> what are you getting? He trying to bust up your back. That, he makes it so fast. I want to bust up your back. He said, man, you, you, you parted with me before. He said, come on, man. <laughs> he said, hey, listen, <laughs> this dude is... Mentally ill, y'all. He's 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 done. I'm serious, bro. He's meant to, something's wrong with him. Press play. He got demons on. He's pussy. He's pussy. 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 Yeah. Well, you, know, you, nigga. Yeah, him. What's going on? It's Insta Snap TV with another exclusive. Diddy Same. got into an altercation last night on Halloween with Power want, Series actor right. Michael J. Ferguson. We don't know for it? sure what lead up to it. No, watch this. So, but allegedly, why Diddy was annoyed. Man mad at him. Michael he doesn't even know it's Diddy acting. yet, but when he it finds out Michael Diddy, was ready to throw throat. hands with Diddy, who he thought was just some random guy. Diddy looked like he was ready too for a second. Then Michael realized who he was and switched up pretty quick. Diddy stayed in character almost the entire time, which makes this pretty funny. Diddy gave him a hug, but checked hey, him the, saying, "You." I don't care about the, the commentary. Go to the part where he he's acting out, bro. Bruh. There's something wrong with this man. It should only be like five seconds more, and then they, they, they're gonna act out like it's in this video. All right, we go keep ahead. playing. All right, go ahead. Some wrong with this Negro, bro. Just keep playing. Yeah, there you go. Diddy is out of right control, there. bro. Yeah, Diddy's out. Pussy, of pussy. Yeah. Well, you, know, you nigga. Ain't yeah, no way he don't know who this is, bro. Ain't he don't know. He don't come, know. Ain't nobody just coming to your face. He, he talking. Come on, bro. Stop it. He, ain't no way. He don't know his Diddy though. Yeah, he don't know his Diddy. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody know. Him. Somebody gonna tell him, yo, you know this. Did he, right? He's a, oh, oh, my bad. Watch, watch. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. You're a clown! <laughs> what? 
What's up, baby? We, we shot, baby. We shot. We shot. You don't like me? Then motherfucking get to it, nigga. If you don't like me, you motherfucking front. Get to it, bitch. Don't fucking play with me on Halloween. I'm out here with love, nigga. You want to have love? It's what up, then, nigga. What's up? What the hell is this? And I'll bust your shit. Nah, hey, keep it pimping. fucking pussy, man, so you don't never talk to me like that, nigga. I'm love, nigga. Keep it macking, man. Don't even let him get you. All right, turn this out. He said, I'm love. That That's that violent man. Like Noah said, bro, that violent man. Listen, bro, something wrong with that. He really, he got the key to the city. He really think that he can't be stopped, bro. But, Stop but he it. did. Wait, hold on. They, that, what's that fighter name? I don't know that. He's a fighter, right? That I don't guy, know who that dude is. That's a fighter. Yeah. He's that? I don't know who he is. Okay, I don't know. I thought he was a fighter. Whatever. But, but he, guess what? He he shut the hell up. He he did, he ain't go back and forth. Diddy did has he? New York on shush, bro. Bro, because of the power he has, and it, it ain't because it's him. It's the people he have behind him. Right. It's Amalek. All up. these so-called Jewish people is behind Diddy. You on know everything. Bro. You know who he remind me of? You remember uh, what it is? Uh, uh, he remind me King of, of Thrones. Bar. How you say that? Uh, Game, of Game of Thrones. Remember the the, the the kid king? He I had to be put it. to bed. Oh yeah, he, he had got, to be put, he got put to death. He, he, had, to go, he had to go. Uh, it's time for you to go to bed. And he's like, I am the king. Y'all gotta listen to me. <laughs> you know the little kid. Mm -hmm. That's who he remind me of. Because of the people around him, he had that power. Go to the next video. Mm -hmm. But think about it. What what kind of mind frame you gotta be in to dress like the Joker? And act out the Joker. You really believe <clears throat> he was in? He was in full. Yeah. What, what do Joker? What's Joker's character? To always bring the worst out of people. That's literally Joker's power. Mm -hmm. He always said, "I, I want to see no the responsibility." Tick. Right. With no responsibility whatsoever. He said, "I want. I'd rather see the world burn." That's that's what he said. You know, because he dressed like the Keith Ledger Batman, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Joker off the Batman. He said, "Some people just want to see the world burn." Like that. That's the type of mentality. Like. I don't care about anything. Anything. Right. Play play next. It ain't even what you think. You fuck around, wake up the Mars shit, ass nigga with a footy on. What? And don't know what the fuck you just did. did. I'm, I mean, real shit. Your motherfucker meat pistol fucked up and your ass hurt. You don't know what the fuck you're saying. What? You don't know who to tell. But this is what the game is going to. That's what it's going to. Then, here it is, it's time for a contract to come out. Nigga want to sign you for five years. You like, nah, dog. So you don't want to sign with us. Nah. Not for no nah. Man, pop in the tape. Show this nigga what he did last night. Damn. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude, Sounds this real shit. Like speaking from experience. Uh -huh. Well, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't know. But that's very specific. That's very, that's very but specific. They, they've been saying this for years and no for years and nobody is really said nothing about it until recently. It's been going on for years. And what's happening is our people is getting exploited behind it. That's the thing. Like we're we're the ones taking the whole the L on this, but really it's Esau behind all of this. You know what I'm saying? Our people love being in folly. We always we want we, we care about riches more than we care about God. We care about fame more than we care about God. We care about all these different things, bro. We don't give a damn what our people don't give a damn what God thinks. Let us be honest, they don't. But they gonna pay for that. And listen, some of y'all, let's be real, we've been talking about it. Deacon IBO just went over to class. Uh Captain Emmanuel just went over to class about fornication. Mm -hmm. Keeping things. Listen, all this been secret. Now it's coming to light. It's going, it ain't, if you're doing all this fornication, adultery, and all this evil, doing it in secret, you got, you married and you committing adultery, you ain't got caught yet, you going to get exposed. It ain't a matter of if, it's when it's going to happen. It's going to happen, man. Tr straight up. It's going to happen. Matter of fact, give me Ecclesiastes 23 and 19. We think God don't, don't see it. We think the most high don't see what's going on. <laughs> we really we really think so. And after that, give me Matthew 10 and 28. Go ahead.
The book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 19. Uh-huh. Such a man uh-huh. only feareth the eyes of men. Men only fear the eyes of men, bro. They care about what you think. Mm-hmm. They care about what you think, what yeah. you think. Yeah. They care about what other people think about them, but they don't think about, they don't care what the Most High God thinks. They don't, they don't give a damn. They worried about what somebody else that's flesh and blood, that's in the midst of wickedness right along with you, mm-hmm. what they think. Right. Come on. And no, it's not. That the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. As if God don't see what you're doing. You worried about the wrong stuff. You really think that you're not, that the Most High ain't seeing what you're doing? You really think that? The Most High see everything that you're doing. Them late night text messages you have it on the side of the bed when your spouse is going to sleep or sleep. Or you go into the other room and you texting somebody else. So you hitting the DM. The most high God see that. Y'all all right? And he going to expose it. He going to expose it, damn it. Go ahead. Beholding all the ways of men uh-huh. and considering the most secret parts. Right. The most high going to expose you. He's going to expose your black behind. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Matthews 10 28. Give me Matthew 10, 28. Because y'all scared and worried about the wrong people. You trying to, you trying to uh, save face from somebody else. You crazy as hell. Most high, listen. The most high see it. That's them secret sins. Them secret sins the Bible be talking about. They going to get exposed. Mm-hmm. You better repent. Better repent before it's too late. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 28. Mm-hmm. And fear not them. Which kill the body. Uh-huh. Don't fear those people that kill the body. Somebody that bleed like me and you. Don't fear them type of people. But guess what? Our people do. These cats, man, were sitting there on this table. These supposed to be hood gangsters. They sold dope and did all that. They from the they from the hood, bro. Allegedly. Allegedly, right? No, they they, well, they, they, they might be from, from the hood, hood, right? They probably just not like that in the hood, but they from the hood. But you see the fear. On these grown ass men's face. Who raised you? This nigga, this, P. Diddy came in with a with a birthday cake and these niggas was scared. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I said, bro, I can't anime. Bro, I can't bro. anime. He said, and then when he did like he said, he said, all right. <laughs> look, he lit one candle. It was four candles on the cake. He lit one candle. Blow it out. He, he said, said if wait. I start reading, he going to know me. <laughs> Let me tell you how, how sick this man is, bro. He was having a conversation with one person on the panel. He was locked in on why, why the, they ain't even talking about that. Why you don't party with me no more? Yeah, you, you ain't party party with me. You ain't your birth. He's speaking, bro. He's that bold. He's telling everybody, yeah. this, I got, I got this Negro. Yeah. He didn't been away from me too long. I, I need that. I'm coming to collect. Oh shoot. That's what he's doing, Jadakis bro. Did and these he sni- Jadakis didn't say a damn thing. <laughs> hey, Captain. He told him, y'all better put this episode out too, bro. You know, he 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 the owner. He said, put this episode out. Bro, I don't care. Put that it was out. exposure right there. But people, people just like, ah, oh, that ain't nothing. No, that was lie. I ain't heard from a, uh, I ain't heard a fabulous song yeah, since. F O B O O. Fix your face. <laughs> ain't that nothing since. Uh, and a, and a hey, Diddy and probably gave him that name. And that brother's talented. He can rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did Diddy give him that name? Fabulous. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Who I finished it, bro. Who I'm sorry. Knows? And finished fear it. not them which kill the body, uh-huh. but are not able to kill the soul. Don't be able. Don't be. No, read it again. I'm sorry. I, I messed up. Go ahead. Read it again. Start verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, uh-huh. but are not able to kill the soul. Come on. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's who you need to be afraid of. That's who you need to put your time and effort to. You Listen, a lot of people is losing their soul over money and fame. It's, people, it's women going over to Dubai getting... getting human porty potty. Yeah, they're human and they're, they're proud of it. It's, it's an like, evil world uh, we live in. Hey, play that video uh, with, uh, uh, what's her name, Young Miami. Let's see what she's saying. This is proof. Yeah. This is proof 
that these people love. They love the fame and they want it from everybody else. They losing their soul. But well, they don't want for money. But they don't care what God say. They don't want to keep the commandments. They don't want to repent. They don't care about what it is. They want the now. They don't want the end, the end goal, which is the kingdom of heaven. Watch this video. She's, hold on, pause. She's one of, she is Diddy's female handler. Yeah. She's the one to go get the chick. She's the one that's in the lawsuit, too. Wow! She's the one that's behind a lot of this stuff. Don't this sound familiar? What happened to Jeffrey Epstein's wife? What was she? She was the handler. She was the one going out and getting them. Not only just her. It, uh, it was a lot of people, but she was the main yeah. one. 50 Cent's uh, baby mama got brought up in the lawsuit, too, as a handler. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's a lot of them. But she's the ringleader. Watch what she's saying, bro. I just had a conversation with somebody the other day. I said, I'm really, like, I'm more like with a, with a W. Like, I'm on. But define that, though. Like, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> you see the definition down there. It said prostitute. She's a whore. You then you say she get a uh. <laughs> Then you say she get a stipend When she was with Diddy She's It is Diddy. on record I mean as far as when they really had a right. Public relationship You know what I'm saying It was put on record that she was getting A $250,000 Allowance Yeah I remember that girl She was a hoe <laughs> For sure For sure <laughs> <laughs> You don't look. Why would you give your girlfriend a stipend and she supposedly left Diddy or broke up with Diddy because he agreed not to pay her that amount anymore? No, she's still with him. I just seen her. Right. Uh, she still she was arguing with another. That was a wage though. Another person saying that she'll never leave him. Right. So she's still by his side doing the same thing. She's a part of the ring. She's she she's in the Diddy effect. Bruh. Right along with all these other people. I got something for that. Go ahead. Joel 3 and 3. And the they is the ring, Amalek, Esau, the wicked, which all of us fall in that same net or trap that Joel 3 is talking about. Read just that verse only. Joel chapter 3 and verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people. Give them contracts, set them up so they can be these type of people. Read. And have given a boy. For a harlot. That boy there is Diddy, and now to Diddy is Usher, and uh, what's the what's the uh, Edomite little boy? Bieber. Justin Bieber. Yeah, Justin Bieber. Just to just to show you the web of net in it, uh, along with Orlando Brown, no Meat Mill, uh, all of them. Fabulous. Every <laughs> rapper, these cats. every Child rapper Bieber. that you watched on MTV, BET, most likely Lil, has gotten a back bust on. Little baby. Snoop, Snoop gave Bow Wow to, uh, to these people as well. Mm -hmm. Handlers. Uh, uh, what's the dude uh, that was over immature? Uh, uh, Marcus Houston. No, no, he was part uh, of it. Oh, Chris it, Stokes. Chris Stokes. Oh. Stokes. Yep. They said he was a part of he was, he was molesting B2K. Stokes. Yeah. Emotional. Yeah. They just did it. Yeah, yeah. But they all in cahoots. Go ahead. So what's the, uh, the dude that, that tore down... Uh, Dang, can we talk, guy? What's the dude that his his Kevin Kevin. the dude that was over him oh, that man. busted uh, Will Smith too? Oh, no. Quincy Jones. Oh yeah, he's the they in the web. Started from the beginning. Read, read at the top. Yeah, and they have cast lots for my people. Uh huh. And have given a boy for Made a harlot. A boy, a harlot. And sold a girl oh, for one. And, and we're talking about music and Hollywood. This goes for your athletes, too. Your baseball, your football. Your, uh, the Basketball. Oldies, anything that has ball in it. They enter. Read. <laughs> Whoa. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And your top whore, who y'all talking about, Young M.A., whatever her name is. I don't know none of their names no more. But all of them are in this net. I'm talking to the cast. I'm sorry. You want me to talk to the camera. But all of them are in this net. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Bro. Go ahead and play this. Go ahead and play. I ain't. Go ahead. I see so many black people happy for a n 
a downfall. I don't hear none of them who was at Diddy shit, toasting with that champagne every year, having speeches with me. Ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing. When you're on top of the world, it's a celebration. When you're on the bottom, it's a denialation. This world fucked up, bro. I had to learn that. Make it make sense, though, bro. Like, come on, man. All y'all motherfuckers used to have them champagne glasses over them suits on for all these brunches and all this shit. Nobody got nothing nice to say. All these colleges got millions from this man. Ain't nobody got nothing nice to say. Mm. I'm just saying, though, all the damn... Video. Play the next video. Let's, let's see if he lying. Let's see if he lying. What the, 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 the. No. <laughs> Come on, Caleb. <laughs> The man, wow. when, he, when he got in trouble, he was like, who going to speak for me? Nobody going to say nothing for me? Talking about, uh, oh, you T.I. Remember, T.I. was just in a sex scandal. Hey. He, he was just in a yeah, sex scandal. Yeah, with him and his wife. Yep, him and his wife. Mm -hmm. Guy accused of the same thing. With, yep, doing uh, prostitution same stuff. Same stuff. Exactly. That whole industry, bro. But look what he said. Look at Pete Diddy in the back, y'all, with, <laughs> with the white suit on. <laughs> well, where he at? Where all his friends at? Keep playing. Single female in that video, which is weird. But go ahead. But, 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 but give me Chirac six and start at verse seven, because uh, Boozy have a point there. You're like you got all these billion dollar, million dollar friends with all this power. Where they at? Because of the day you know, that cast lots. You know, yes, the, the 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 man who got the real power. You know what I'm saying? Who gonna step out? Who gonna? Who? I wish you would. Say something. Y'all all right? <laughs> Say something. You know what I'm saying? Our people know who the real gangster is. Y'all know who the real gangster is? The white man. The Jewish man. He the real gangster. You ain't going to say nothing. All you fake rappers. Hey, let me like say something. Like you gangster killing your own people. Let me say Make something. Y'all what's up? A lot of y'all idolize these people. Y'all love these famous people. Y'all all in the business. Y'all all in the T. You know everything about the athletes, the rappers, the singers, the actresses and actors, you know all of the celebs. But you de devour the men of God that's going out, putting a life on the line right. every day. Then the real superheroes. That's right. Those are, the real, those are the real, real heroes of the world. Those are the real celebrities. That's what our young uh, daughters and sons are seeing. They seeing us out there teaching our people to repent from these wicked things. That's what's happening. Y'all so worried about what's going on in the media. Every day, your whole life, you worried about stuff like that. Only reason I'm doing it is so we can make a show. I don't give a damn about none of these people. As long as they repent, I mean, Lord's will, they repent. They doing all this folly. I don't care about none of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Our people got to come out of this wickedness, man. And some of y'all idolize these people. You can't go to sleep without watching a uh, Tyler Perry movie. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, shit. I don't even start on him. <laughs> hey, read that. <laughs> start at verse 7. That rubs some, rub some feathers. Hey, 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 listen. Because he's a ringleader now. Yeah, he, he's, one he's of a the, gatekeeper. Yeah, he's one of the gatekeepers. P. Diddy's a gatekeeper. He's a day. And y'all know who the gatekeepers are, right? The Bible called them taskmasters. You know what I'm saying? That's who they are. That's what the Bible, the, uh, the, the biblical definition of them. You know what I'm saying? The handlers. Uh, read, uh, because Boosie was saying something, right? He was like, he didn't understand where the friends at. Why? You know, the Bible who you you don't like, Boosie. You know, you told they God to shoot. You, you know, you remember you told God to shoot God, buy a guy, I don't like, I don't. Oh, yeah. Don't, you yeah, know, he did. Yeah. You know, you, the answers is in the Bible. He, the answer he, is in the Bible. He flipped uh, God off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The answer is in the Bible, Boosie. You know, with your goofy behind. Man, read, shut read. Your black and it's going it's to happen to you, too. You know what I'm saying? Your day coming, too. You know what I'm saying? You mark God. It's your day is coming. That's you know right. <clears throat> All right. He, he uh, had part of his day. Yeah, he got, it's, he got a little taste of it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But yeah, it's, it's coming. Uh, no, not the diabetes. He was finna go to prison. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, he, go. he, he almost did. died a couple of times too. Nah, he out, bro. Nah, that that wasn't the, the that ain't that ain't that ain't how God touched touch him. But Our read that real. Read that. This is what the Bible say about uh, the shit. The P Diddy situation where you was running on wide. It's Rock six and verse seven. Mm-hmm. Book of Sirach, chapter six and verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. They don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? They, oh, they got they money. You status. got money. Yeah. You got this. You got that. You got fame. I'm going to go to the P. Diddy party. You know, they don't know none of the people there. But read on. And be not hasty to credit him. They be ready to credit him. He's a good brother. You know, you know I've, been, I've been watching you from afar, man. You know, I really like you. I've been seeing him on the interview saying crap. But read on. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. That's what the Bible said. They're your friend for their own occasion. You have to beware. All them people in there ain't friends. You know what I'm saying? With the, the, the champagne or we in a winning circle. That's what he was saying. You keep watching the um, video. Um, T.I. was like, yeah, this is the winning circle over here, y'all. We in a winning circle. But this is some bull loser circle right here. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Without the Lord, you the loser. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Amalek gave you that party. Mm-hmm. You, Everybody. You, you, who you think you are? But you ain't got the answer, do, Sway. What they do is Amalek allow them to get a platform. They make some money, right? And then they just shoot it in our face, and they think they better than us. They ain't shooting nothing in the I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, well, this one, I'm, yeah. No diddy. Come on, man. No Pause, all right? No, I, I know what I'm talking about. Put it in our face. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Fix your face. They put it on TV for us to watch it. View it. The view it. Come on, y'all. Y'all all right? Stay, stay with me. You know what I'm saying? Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm okay. not keeping that one. Read on. All right, read on. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Uh-huh. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Ooh, where they at? Ooh, where they at? He your trouble to uh, 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 P. Diddy? Where the, where, the, where the champagne people at? Where the, where T.I. at? Where uh, uh, Jay-Z and, and all the people who was in this, in this, in this video right here? With shop, you was in the back of the champagne, too. DJ you know? Khaled was in the video. Yeah. He can't even say nothing about what's happening in Gaza. They say you better not. <laughs> you're fat. Better not say nothing. You know, you, you know what you better? He going to have Listen, you know, he might say... He might say Israel, free Israel. Right. <laughs> he might say free Israel. He, he's one of them. He can, you better not say nothing about Palestine. <laughs> he's you ain't heard nothing from he DJ Khaled. He ain't saying nothing about Palestine. All right? But, I'm from America. Uh, hey, 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 read on. Read on. Real quick, we got to hurry yeah. up. Read on. Verse 9. Uh-huh. And there is a friend mm-hmm. being turned enmity being, and strife. Being, being turned to enmity and to hatred, right? Come on. We'll hey. discover thy reproach. Come on. Again. Some friend is a companion at the table. See, a lot of them were companions when everything was going good, when everything was good, before the, the, uh, the spot was blew up, all of them was companions to P. Diddy. But they all are part of the Diddy effect. They all going to go down because they've been friends with these cats for a long time. They let a lot of evil stuff go by. Now they like, oh, let me, let, me, let, me, let me get lawyered up. Let me stay away from it. Nobody said, nah, Diddy ain't even like that. Nobody said that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And when I continue in the day of thy trouble. And I will not. And I will not. Read again. Read again. And will not continue in the day of thy affliction. In the day of thy affliction. Listen, once, once that affliction come, they're done with you. They're completely out of this dude's life. They're not going to help him. They're not going to put no money towards them. None of that. Because they scared. They gonna, They next. They all, all them Negroes you see in this video have abandoned him like, uh, like Boosie said. Yeah, where they at? That's why Boosie, when Boosie, now Boosie be doing some evil stuff. Mm-hmm. But that's why he kind of was like, uh, when he, when he uh, got out of prison, Cat Williams invited him to a, a, a show, I think in Monroe, right? Monroe or something yeah, he like gave that. Yeah, he gave him some money. And he gave him. 16 grand because he knew he was complaining online that nobody gave me no money. Mm-hmm. Nobody did nothing. I was broke. But when I was up, everybody wanted mm-hmm. wanted a handout. Mm-hmm. Everybody left him. That's mm-hmm. why you got to prove a friend. Prove mm-hmm. a friend. Keep reading. Keep reading. His, watch this. Verse 11. But in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself. Read on. And will be bold over thy servant. Read. 
If that we brought low, ain't Diddy low right now? He's down low, man. No, it read. He will be against thee, mm-hmm. and will hide himself from thy face. Where he at? They hide their face. They, get, they don't know. You, you can't find them. Read. Separate thyself from thine enemies, and take heed of thy friends. All them people in that room, he thought that was his friends. They yeah, ain't his enemies, really. But but at the end of the day, he wasn't a damn friend either. No. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. All this stuff is this. all this stuff is it's, evil as hell. Yeah. That's what we, right. all of us. Yeah. He ain't no good friend either. Yes, that's why they abandoned his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. That's what I said. This stuff is just crap. All Tell this me, fake. All this stuff is fake. It's a rabbit hole, and, it, and they, they not done. Esau not done with him, mm-hmm. even though he's not a, you know, convicted yet, or if he ever be. But they're not done with the allegation. When the feds come in, it's usually somebody going to jail. If Diddy get out of this, he will be broke. If he don't go to jail, he's oh, going to spend yeah. so much money in legal fees, yeah. he's going to be drained. He's going to be like Irv Gotti. Remember, Irv Gotti was uh, Murder, Inc. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They wanted to get Supreme, so they made sure they brought a fed case against him just to drain his pocket so he wouldn't help Supreme. And they knew he was innocent. Right. So they was just like, we're just going to break him. Yeah, we're just going to drain him. Mm. The pen is mightier than the That's sword. they do. Mm-hmm. But all right, man, listen. Happy Sabbath, man. We're going to conclude. Over. Yeah, it's over, bro. Six minutes ago. It, it was six. We kind of went over. We ain't going nowhere. All right, we can't keep doing it. Hey, yeah, somebody said it ain't meat meals no more. It's just cheap meals. Oh, oh God. Oh, man. <laughs> Play that loud. Fix your face. All right, y'all. Shalom, more sign of Christ. Bless, man. We conclude. Fix your face. Hey, listen. Tune in to Friday Night Raw. All right? Deacon ain't south for the go. Go at it, man. All right? Shalom, more sign of Christ. Bless. Fix your face, face, we ain't going nowhere. Fix your face, face, we ain't going. Fix your face, face, we ain't going nowhere, nowhere. Fix your face, face. Fix your face, face, we ain't going nowhere, nowhere. Fix your face.